size and shape classification bones are further divided into six groups long bones short bones flat bones sesamoid bones irregular bones and pneumatic bones let's start with developmental classification of bones bones are classified into three groups according to their method of development these groups include membranous bones cartilaginous bones and membrocartilaginous bones starting with membranous bones it is also called dermal bone these bones have intramembranous method of ossification membranous sheaths are formed by condensation of mesenchyme for example flat bones of skull bones of face maxilla and zygomatic second group is cartilaginous bones these bones have intracartilaginous method of ossification for example ribs sternum bones of limb last group of developmental ossification is membrocartilaginous bones these bones have both types of ossification intramembranous and intracartilaginous for example occipital temporal sphenoid of skull mandible and clavicle now let's move to regional classification of bones it is further divided into two groups axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton axial skeleton it includes bones of head and trunk it consists of 80 bones for example skull bone rib cage sternum vertebral column and ossicles of middle ear appendicular skeleton it includes pectoral girdle upper extremity pelvic girdle and lower extremity for example tibia fibula radius and ulna moving forward we will talk about classification of bones according to their size and shape as we already have discussed this classification is further divided into six groups let's start with long bones these bones have more length and width than width therefore are called long bones there is typical long bone and miniature long bone typical long bones have considerable length its example is humerus radius ulna femur tibia and fibula and miniature long bones have short length for example metacarpals and phalanges of hand and metatarsals and phalanges of foot next comes short bones these bones have almost same length width and thickness these are irregularly shaped these bones have limited movement short bones are spongy bones with outer covering of compact bone for example bone of wrist and ankle other is flat bones these are thin and curved plates they have broad surface for muscle attachment their example is sternum and ribs now let's talk about irregular bones these bones have irregular shape with their several processes for example hip bone and bones of face sesamoid bones these are bony nodules embedded within tendon or muscle their number is not fixed they act as pulleys and protect tendons from trauma common example of sesamoid bone is kneecap kneecap is embedded in tendon of quadriceps femoris muscle last group of bone is accessory bones these are not always present in body it is further divided into three groups supernumerary bones vermin bone and heterotopic bone supernumerary bone these are extra center of ossification which does not fuse with the main bone for example os visalinium this bone is present adjacent to tuberosity of fifth metatarsal bone second is vermin bone these are extra bones in sutures of skull for example in course of lamboid suture last group of bone is heterotopic bone 
These bones are formed in muscles of other soft tissues, for example, rider's bones. Thanks for watching and do subscribe.